Oh, I got so tired and it was late. Couldn't do the review last night, so I'll do it today. Moonraker Laserdisc. Now this one opens up, if you remember when I did the unboxing. Okay, let's just say this pretty good movie. They're in a spaceship trying to space stop all kinds of different things. I know they were in a shuttle and then they were on a space station. But, yeah, my nose is plugged. Um, let's just say that I thought it was a pretty good movie. It was only about two hours and six minutes, which isn't that bad. You know, a lot of 007 films go just above two minutes. I don't know why. Why wouldn't they just make it like an hour and 15 minutes or two hours? A lot of them go over two. And the reason why I say that sucks is because on a laser disc, you have to go to a third side of the disc. And it sucked because the third side of the disc had the least amount of information, just like it usually does. So you're going to a third side just for a mediocre 20 minutes, sometimes less, when you're watching a laser disc. So that kind of sucks. What else can I say about this? Rated PG. How in the hell back then could they rate 007 PG when there was sex and violence in it is beyond me. Notice every 007 movie you watch now is PG-13. The rating system was completely different. Even though they had the same ratings, you know, everything changed. Hollywood went in one direction and that was it. Uh, this is Roger Moore, obviously, and I have how many more films in him? At least a few more, or a couple. And then I switched to Timothy Dalton. Um, I'll watch Tomorrow Never Dies again, I guess. Um, I don't know what that's going to be like, but uh, I'll, I think I'll do that. <laughs> I just wa I've watched it recently, the last couple of months. Um, and then I watched World Is Not Enough, which I will never touch again because it's a collectible now. Never. I, I took a, a... I burned it at the Japanese version on my DVD recorder so I could watch it if I wanted to, anytime I wanted to. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.